So, you know, our takeaways from today's discussion is that we're seeing more and more in criminal antitrust cases the use of experts and the introduction of economic evidence as part of a defendant's case. And I think the question is, you know, how effective is that and what does that mean for litigation? Uh, criminal antitrust litigation moving forward. And I think, you know, the takeaway is, you know, the, the impact of that sort of evidence um, it really depends on the strength of the government's case. Mm -hmm. um, what we're seeing is courts uh, are inclined to let defendants, mm -hmm. to let criminal defendants introduce that, that type of evidence, but they are limiting it um, in most, I would say, standard antitrust uh, criminal cases um, to disproving the existence of the agreement, uh, the anti-competitive agreement. And so how the impact of that is really um, relative in terms of how strong you know, is the government's case. So do they have a number of cooperating witnesses who can speak to the agreement? Can their testimony be corroborated by documentary evidence, emails, um, texts, that sort of thing? Um, the other sort of nuance here is um, that, you know, that what I just described is a standard antitrust criminal case. We are seeing sort of a, a divergence with respect to labor market, no poach, employee no poach, no solicit cases where there is more economic evidence allowed than even the traditional per se uh, case. Um, and that, you know, it seems to be having a greater effect um, on the juries uh, who are deciding those cases and the judges are sort of crafting rules to let more of that in. Um, and so I think the question there is, you know, how is the Department of Justice going to react to that moving forward? How are they going to prioritize these cases? And what does that mean? So, um, so those are sort of the takeaways from today. You know, the, the rising use of expert uh, testimony in criminal cases. You know, its impact depends on sort of the quality of the government's case, and we're seeing uh, d d different uh, approaches in the labor market cases.